he almost didn't go, you know. Michael Owen's goal-scoring feats in the 1997-98 season, he struck 18 times to share the golden boot with Dion Dublin and Chris Sutton, prompted a national debate about whether or not Liverpool's talented teenager should go to the 1998 World Cup in France. He had only made his senior international debut in the February in a 2-0 defeat to Chile, but having returned to Liverpool and kept scoring goals then there really wasn't a choice for Glenn Hoddle. He had to keep selecting him. Owen's life was changed against Argentina in 1998 image, action images, and by the time Owen had become the youngest player to score for England in a pre-tournament friendly against Morocco the conversation had moved on from whether he'd be in the squad to whether or not he'd start. The answer was no. Owen was confined to a five-minute cameo off the bench in the opener against Tunisia, with Glenn Hoddle opting for the tried-and-tested partnership of Alan Shearer and Teddy Sheringham. Then he was on the bench again against Romania, and he came on and scored. Owen also netted against Romania, image, all sport, that was it now, he had to start. And after getting 90 minutes in the 2-0 win over Colombia, he was thrown in again for Argentina in the last 16 in St. Etienne. And that was where Owen's life changed. Two penalties in the first nine minutes, we don't talk about how the England one was won, set up a manic game, and seven minutes after Shearer had equalized came the moment. His moment. And you know how it went. Owen just saw off the advances of Paul Scholes to score, image, offside, Owen strike stunned the world, image, popper photo, Owen picked up the ball from David Beckham and tour at the Argentina defense, leaving them teetering this way and that as scorch marks covered the turf. The finish, too, was excellent, as the 18-year-old gloriously ignored an advancing Paul Scholes to fire into the top corner. Then Javier Zanetti's equalizer happened. Beckham's red card played a part in England's downfall image, PA, and then came David Beckham's red card. Then there were the missed penalties for Paul Ince and David Batty. That meant that it was the end for England. But it was just the beginning for Owen.